Good morning, Crossroads South. It is Wednesday, May 26th, and it is a B day today. It is also an early release day, which means that um, you have to check your early release schedule. For B day, that means that you have blue, purple, um, HAP and your B-Day Encores. You'd think I'd have this perfectly memorized by now. Um, today for Student Council is also Jeans Day. J is for jeans. So hopefully you have your jeans on today, um, even though it's gonna be really hot. But Jeans Day it is. And tomorrow is K. K that they have is Kindergarten Day. So, you know, I was trying to think, what does Kindergarten Day mean? So I'm trying to think of what I look like in kindergarten. And guess what? I actually have a picture to show you. This is funny because this picture hangs on my wall and I have to say that my dad gave this to me because he thought it looked like I was having my first staff meeting. I don't know. I probably had friends at my clubhouse there. But if you take a look, that is me on my fifth birthday right before I'm supposed to start kindergarten. You can see my friends and I, that's my sister. She's very annoying, but that is me and yeah, I had really short hair and those red shorts. Well, listen, I'm not gonna be wearing that tomorrow for kindergarten day, but something for kindergarten day that reminds you of kindergarten, I don't know, the pigtails, maybe it's a shirt from your elementary school, maybe it's, you know when you were in kindergarten or when you were younger, you had those shirts that would have like the really cute, nice sayings and the kind things that were said. So there are some ideas for you for tomorrow for kindergarten day. All right. Um, not a ton of announcements, just making sure that we're continuing to return our library books, any library book that you have, anything that has the little note on the side of the spine of the book, bring it in. We'll figure out where it goes. Even if it's for the public library, we will get it to them. Um, I also want to say that this morning I started um, my day with the most special moment. Um, bright and early this morning at about 635, our orchestra students came in and about 715-ish, they put on a concert for the first time in a year and four months. A concert. It was awesome. Thank you so much to Mrs. Marchione and all of our orchestra students who played this morning. The concert was lovely. If you're one of those students, you know that I was like crying because it was amazing to hear our musicians back together again. There are some things in this world that you can do by yourself and some things that you can do through a computer. And then there's some things that you can't. You need to be together as humans. We need to see one, one another and uh, music and humanities and the arts, that's one of those things. So if you're a musician, you totally get what I mean. And uh, you know exactly what that means to come together and to be in the presence of other musicians and to interact with each other. It's like a total different language. So um, congratulations to all of those students. I know our band students are excited because there's more coming up and they have um, a plan for a music share too. So um, I just wanna say thank you to everybody that made that possible. Really, really special morning. So congratulations. All right, to everybody else, I hope you have a wonderful early early release day. Please don't forget that tomorrow is a full day. And then Friday, we have off from school. And we have a very long weekend for Memorial Day. So that concludes my announcements for this morning. Please stand for the salute to our flag. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, folks, you may be seated. Have a fantastic early release. B-Day Wednesday. Check out that bear. Talk to you later. Bye.